I know many of you guys are thinking that Donald Trump is the Antichrist or Elon Musk or Obama, but I'm here to tell you today that none of them are. I know who it is and he's among us today. Psych! <laughs> Y'all thought. On a serious note, the Antichrist or the Man of Sin already appeared in the first century. Now, I know what y'all are thinking, uh, that cannot be because the man of sin was to be destroyed at the Lord's coming and the Lord hasn't come yet. Or has he? In a previous video I made, I demonstrated from Matthew chapter 24 verses 1 through 3 and verse 34, as well as a number of other passages that I cited, that the destruction of the temple and the fall of Jerusalem was the date of the Lord, i.e. the second coming. So that is problem one of two that I have against the idea that we're still awaiting for the yet future man of sin. Problem number two that I have is that Paul says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, that the man of sin was to appear in the, quote, temple of God. That was the Herodian temple, the second temple that happened to be destroyed in 70 AD at the fall of Jerusalem. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the fallen away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And if I were to add one more passage, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 24, who, by the way, is drawing from the book of Daniel, that when you see the abomination that caused desolation standing in da, 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 the holy place, let the reader understand. Now, what was the holy place? The holy place was in the Herodian temple, the, quote, temple of God. Now, I'm sure that you can see that the problem is apparent, that there cannot be a yet future man of sin that is to stand in the temple of God if that temple of God was destroyed in the past. Therefore, the only other viable alternative is that the temple of God was standing in their day and the man of sin appeared in their day, standing in the holy place, taking a seat in the temple of God. Now, let me add one more thought in the event that you were tempted to disassociate the second coming from the man of sin's appearance. Because Paul says in 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2 verse 8 that the man of sin would be destroyed at the brightness of the lord's coming and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming so guess what that means that means that the second coming had to have been during the time that the herodian temple was standing in case you were still in doubt about that let's take a look at what an ancient church bishop namely eusebius has to say about it in his book when he's drawing from what josephus records in the first century the calamities which at that time overwhelmed the whole nation in every part of the world, the process by which the inhabitants of Judea were driven to the limits of disaster. Women and children perished by the sword, by starvation, and by countless other forms of death. The number of Jewish cities besieged and the horrors they endured. The character of the whole war and the detailed events at all its stages, the last scene of all when the abomination of desolation, announced by the prophets, was set up in the very temple of God, once world-renowned, when it underwent utter destruction and final dissolution by fire.